Hello everyone, welcome back to Hexels Plus. Last time we did some mental gymnastics to get through 6-2 without any errors in our logic. We peeped 6-3, saw this mess and thought better of it. So let's see what starts off with obvious stuff. The very first thing I saw is this three consecutive here on a chain of four means the middle two must be blue. Also, I see this 10 here of 10 consecutive starting with this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and no others. It's frightening to me that every number has another number represented inside of it. This one here has one within its borders, so we can get rid of those. This one here does not yet. Let's see, what else do we know? We need one more in there. We have one along here. We need five on this, and we have one, two, three, four, five. We can close that clue. This needs three. One, two, three. This is not one. We can close that clue. This needs four. We need one more. This one here has one vertically, so it's not this. And it is this. No, I can't count. Give me a restart there. Right, we did one, two. We counted from ten up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we saw one along here makes that row complete. What else did we see? This one here. Then this five has one, two, three, four, five. This three has one, two, three. This one here sees one, so this is not one. This two sees one, two diagonally. We can clear those. This four has one, two, three, four in its borders. It's not this. This three gets a one, two, third on its chain. This six sees one, two, three, four, five, six. This five is solved. This two does not resolve yet. Neither does that one. Right, what else can we work with? This four is just solved. This five sees one, two, three. We need two of those. This three gets one, two, and a third. That one is solved. This two cannot solve yet. Right, we're going to want to look for low numbers here. Like this two sees one, two. We can eliminate those. This three sees three within itself. We can eliminate that. This five sees four and one. This sees one, two, three, four, five. Yes, because this five loses the one off the top. I can't. I missed this. I'm so mad. I need to slow down. Right, what else did we know? This one. Then this five is one, two, three, four, five. This one sees one. This two sees two. This four sees one, two, three, four. That three gets a third. This six sees one, two, three, four, five, six. This three sees three. That one sees one. Right, where do we get from here? This one sees that. That stands out on its own. Then this two sees one, two, not those. This three sees one, two, three, not this. This five sees one, two, three, four, and one of these. 
This five sees one, two, three, one of those, and that. That's too many. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, because this makes four. Must learn to count correctly. Right, this two here is consecutive of this five, so it's not that, or these. Starting to notice that every black cell is a question mark. Oh, there's a zero here. Always look for the easy stuff first. Right, so let's not jump into more mistakes. So one of these will be two, three, possibly one of those, or possibly this for those, and then one of these otherwise. So that doesn't solve. Right. Let's come back over here. One, two, three, four. This is solved. One, two, three. We need two of those. We can't tell which yet. go. A line of five with one, two, three, four, five is certainly something. How does this solve now? One, two, three, four, five. That does solve. This three is solved. I could have seen ages ago that this three and this five make a, a two separated from this group of three. I'd have been paying attention sooner. Five here makes one, two, three, four, five. Five here makes one, two, three, four, five. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we need one of these to make a sixth. But this four has one, two, three. It needs one of these to make a fourth. If it was this one, when we finish this six, it would add up to one too many, so we know this isn't one. Then what? Let's go back around and check stuff that I haven't checked properly. Like this three has only three given tiles. This one has only one given tile. That two now sees two tiles, so it's not this. That two sees two, it's not those. This four sees one, two, three, four. Was there something on this diagonal? There was, but it's not enough information yet. 
This seven sees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is solved. This three sees one, two, three. We can get rid of all that. This five sees one, two, three. It needs one more of those, we don't know which. Let's go back around, look for easy stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is too many. Three we can't do, that we can't do. Nothing blindingly obvious for easy stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's too many. One, two, three, and one of those. One, two, three, one of these. Okay, I think we can use the same logic I think we got this tile with. This four has one, two, three, and needs a fourth. Could be this one. This tile has one, two, three, needs a fourth. Could be that one, and that would allow them to both be complete with four separate different ones. But this six sees one, two, three, four. We need two of these. So if this sees one, two, three, four, and we need two of those, and this sees one, two, three, we need one of these. No, we have one, two, three, four, five. We need one of those on the six. We need one of those on the four. And we need one of these on the four. So maybe that doesn't help me at all. However, this four here sees three, needs one more. This four sees two, needs two more. So it has to be not two of these, otherwise that four would be oversubscribed. So this is blue. This three sees one, two, needs one more. Once one of those is populated, this four will have one, two, three, one of those and not this. How's this seven looking? One, two, three, four, five, six, and one of those. One, two, three, four, and one of those. One, two, three, and one of those. One, two, and a third for those. One, two, three. Okay. If this has one, two, three, and one of these makes four, this six has one, two, three, four, one of these for five, and one of these for six, but not both. So this four four here has one, two, three. 
It can't have one of these for four and one of these for four. So this six has one, two, three, four, five. What, uh, that's me not being able to count again, isn't it? This is one, two, three, and one of those for four. This is one, two, three, four, five, one of those for six, and not those. One, two, three, four. One of those for five means that this is one of those for one and not that one. Does this change any of our diagonals that we're working with? Doesn't change that one. Doesn't change that one. That's still too many. That we know nothing about. That one we don't know either. But we're making slow and gentle progress. It's better than being wrong over and over again. So we know one of those will be. One, two, one of these will make three. So if we have one, two, and one of these will make three, we can eliminate those. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's too many there to work with. Maybe we need to focus somewhere else for a while. This two has one, and one of these for two. This three has zero, so it's going to be one of those for one, two, and three. This two has one there, and one of these for two, so it's not that one. Two of those to make five. That needs one of those for three. That needs one of these for three. This vertical here, one, two, that will make three, so this is not one. This vertical line here only needs one more. So this five has one, two, three, four, five. This two now sees two, we can eliminate the rest in its border. This two now sees a second one there. This five is solved. This three sees one, two, three. It's not this. This three sees one, two, three. 
that one is solved. This two gets a second. This one is solved. That's eliminated. This five sees one, two, three, four, five. We eliminate this. That lets us eliminate a lot of this. One, two, three. Gets rid of those. That's solved. That's solved. One, two, three. Not this. That's solved. This vertical line here has one and two. Needs one of those for three. This two here has one there. One of those for two eliminates those. That two is solved. This four is solved. This six. One, two, three, four, five. Still needs one of those that we can't get yet. Uh, this three has one and a second, needs one of those to make a third, and this one will be populated by one of those to make a one, so it's not this or that. This three now gets one, two, three. This six now has one, two, three, four, five, six, eliminates that. That clue is solved, that clue is solved, that clue that clue, that clue, that clue, that clue. This four here sees one, two, three, four. We eliminate this. That means this one gets that one. This three is solved. This five is solved. This vertical three is solved. That three is solved. Lots of progress down this side now. There's three in that diagonal. What else do we have over here? That four is solved. This five, one, two, three, four, five. This three sees one, two, three. It's not that. That two is solved. This three is solved. That two is solved. This five here sees one, two, three, four, and one of those, so we don't know which yet. This three, we don't know yet. This two knows it's one of those. This three knows it's one of those. How's this seven doing? One, two, three, four, five. So that will tell us what this is at the end, but we can't tell that yet. We need two of those. We need one of these. How's this five doing? One, two, three. One of those for four. This makes five. This five here has one, two, three, four. That's its fifth. That one sees one. We can eliminate that. That two sees two. That's now one, two, three four and one of those for five. One, two, three, I think, because this three here has one and then two of these. This five has one, two, three, four and one of those. This seven has one, two, three, four, five. Then either six, seven, or one of those, and seven, which seems more likely, but we need to confirm it somehow. One, two, three, four, and a fifth. So there's one of those, and one of these. This five sees one, two, three, four, five. We need one of those, we need one of those. One, two, three, four. Ah, 
Where did I go wrong? This five. Oh, I didn't even count this tile here. All right, well, we're deep enough to not warrant a reset, but we've had our one mistake, and hopefully we won't make a second. How's this doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is five non-sequential. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been a way easier way to solve that part of the puzzle. This five now sees one, two, three, four, five. It's not this. That three sees one, two, three. It's not that. This five sees one, two, three, four, five. That three sees three in its border eliminates this. That three is solved. This seven now sees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This two is solved. This five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, the same. Four here is one, two, three, and a fourth. Four in this vertical line now. One, two, three, four. Not this. Yes, that. That two is solved. This two is solved. This four is solved. That two is solved. This three is solved. How's this seven doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This five sees one, two, three. That will make four. This is five. This four sees one, two, three, four. Eliminates this. This five now sees one, two, three, four. This is the fifth. One, two, three, four. Yep. So we need one remaining of these two. How about this line here? One, two, three, four, five. Not this. Yes, that. Do I get all the pips? I think I did. One mistake is allowed. All right, there's another half hour for six, three. It just doesn't stop, does it? Right. Join me tomorrow where we will jump into 6-4. Otherwise, as I say, these things would get incredibly long. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.